now when you put into ubuntu 22.04 you will find this boot screen you can click on try or install ubuntu you can also get into safe mode or oem install or test memory so let's go with first option which should take us to the desktop now when you first put into it and say try or install it will take you to desktop that looks something like this now here you have to choose the english language and then select install ubuntu now here you can choose the keyboard layout i'm going to choose default us as it's for indian keyboard that also works so let's click continue now here you see updates and other software so what apps would you like to install to start with let's go with normal installation you will get web browser and other stuff you can go with minimal with web browser and utilities you can use download updates while installing ubuntu or simply uncheck this you can use install third party software for graphics wi-fi other formats you can check this then click continue it will go and check ubuntu drivers so let it search and install that now as you can see it has auto adjusted itself with screen now it is asking me to choose the erase disk and install ubuntu option you can check that click on advanced features here you can see what to do right so i'm not going to select it by default and we'll keep the settings so here erase disk and install ubuntu right now click on install now now here it has auto selected the time zone which is kolkata right so i'm going to click continue here i can type in my name and i can also pick computer name and username separately so let's see this is my name and my computer's name i want it different so i'm going to choose that right now it will start the installation it will copy the file install them and it will tell you to check at the end of this installer so as you can see currently it is in process of going through that now the next thing is you have to reboot the system and then let ubuntu load right then we will log in using the user account that we just created so click on restart you can see i have this login screen it's a lot different than older versions of ubuntu now this is where we are supposed to click and here we will add the password and then we hit enter it will take us to desktop we will see how quickly it loads i have around 8 gb of ram and it is taking a bit longer to load as well now here you see it is loading all the component at once okay now it will ask me to connect to online services you can skip that then i don't want to send any system info to canonical or any other place so click no system info no don't send system info click next then we have location service i have disabled it now i can choose which apps to install so for that it will open software option so let's click done and come out of this right and now i want to see the application options so here you see when i click on this particular part it will show me the desktop wallpaper here so the two desktops listed 
and all the applications within system are also listed i can use the mouse to scroll through the installed application and drivers right then i can simply come out of this by clicking on this button now there is also one more new option with activities where i can i get to scroll through the desktops right i can change the particular wallpaper to see how differently it looks right so compared to genomes default options here you get a bit different because your dock is on left by default in case of kuno it's at the bottom so if you rearrange them it will look the same now coming out of this let's go and check the top bar option for calendar right we have notifications here and calendars then we have options for our Wi-Fi then what type of internet and then we have power settings regular settings can be accessed then log out and power off lock options let's click settings it should open the same settings that we can access through applications option as well so it opens basically genomes settings and within about you can see the system information right so by default it loads some of the applications that you may not want like i don't need it in the box and that thunder bird mail right then you have help which also install your ubuntu desktop okay so if you can see this you have managed to install the ubuntu desktop you can explore further after this installation